Pressure. Right. Under pressure. So, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. friends and family, yeah. I hope you all have full glasses because there's a few toasts that we have to do in the course. You? A few. I can do one. Get Shervin, get Shervin more booze before I break the bottle over his head. <laughs> Just red. Whiskey. Whiskey. <laughs> I just sip a little, that's all. <laughs> I'm responsible for you. <laughs> right. Um, so, for best man speeches, um, in Thai weddings, they don't seem to figure. Can you hear me, Jess? You're right. They don't seem to figure too prominently. Um, and I think this kind of makes sense um, because who would want an intimate speech that ridicules or potentially embarrasses the groom in front of a room full of people that you barely know and you just want to impress with your wealth? So, um, so, so it, seems, it seems Daniel's quite crafty because he's obviously got me to deliver this speech, you know, to a very small group of people on an island in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. And anybody who leaves the island with the wrong story. Yeah. So basically, no one hears this. No one hears this speech. Okay. But the first thing I'd like to do on behalf of Dan and Quan is to thank those that have made long journeys to come here and join the celebrations. Yeah, thank you. I, know, I know that Dan and Quan appreciate it and it's these sorts of efforts and gestures that make weddings that more memorable and special. Um, ben and Christine, um, Raf and Jess, um, and, and, and the new, the new happy couple. <laughs> It's very complicated. <laughs> um, so thank you to everybody. Um, we know it wasn't easy, um, particularly the last leg, the storm, the speedboat that only went through the circle, <laughs> the driving rain, the stepladder, the petrol fumes, oh, the, the wobbly pier at the end. Where is this morning? <laughs> you can shut The wobbly pier at the end. Um, but now, you know, we've had a day in the sun, our spirits are high again, and we can all look back in fondness at a time whose mood was so eloquently captured by one of our party, who said at the time, when I next see Mr. Ross, I'm going to punch him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure he wasn't talking about that. <laughs> So the first toast of the evening um, is to the friends and family that have come from far to be here. Yeah. Cheers. 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 So, someone that I do know um, really wanted to be here but could not is Amir. Um, so for those of you that don't know Amir, Amir is Dan's close friend from King's College and his joint best man, but he wasn't able to come because he had work commitments in Iran. Um, so that might be just as well, um, because a Jewish Thai wedding could have been the event that finally tempted him to go for those 72 virgins. <laughs> but, but, but that, you know, that kind of... Borderline tasteless joke aside. <laughs> um, Amir Am did like ask me to say a few words on his behalf. Uh, Allah Akbar! That wasn't what he said. <laughs> what he did say was. <laughs> what he did say was. Um, <laughs> That's good on. That's going viral. <laughs> Say what? Yeah, my shoulder. <laughs> um, that he's very upset, um, very upset for not having been able to make it here. Um, his thoughts are with us. Um, he has had the honour to know Dan for 20 years. Um, for him, his, Daniel has been a fun flatmate, an amazing travel partner, and most important of all, a great friend. Though he's not very good at football, he has many other good points to make up for that. Um, and Amir wishes him and his wife a wonderful future together. All my love, Ambush. Ambush. <laughs> Ambush. So, to Ambush. Yeah, so the Ambush. Toast is to the absent joint best man, to Ambush. Ambush. <laughs> Cheers. 
So I would also like to congratulate Dan and Quan and wish them a happy and long marriage. I know that they love and care about each other a lot. And what with Quan's years of experience helping mentally challenge <laughs> <laughs> and developmentally delayed children, Quan should definitely have the necessary credentials to take good care of them. <laughs> <laughs> We uh, we and I wish you a fruitful marriage. <laughs> <laughs> we wish you a fruitful marriage also, and I think you know what that means. You know, fruitful marriage, productive, that sort of thing. It would be it would be very nice to hear soon the patter of tiny feet other than Daniel's around the house. <laughs> <laughs> Crime to let these superior Ross male genes, you know, go to waste, to sink to the bottom of the murky pool of humanity's gene pool without, you know, with nothing <laughs> with a or a whimper. You have good looks, intelligence, sophistication. I mean, these are all things that Ross men actually probably don't have that much of. <laughs> um, and Quan sees before her now a successful, handsome, athletic man. But in about five years' time, he's going to be fat, <laughs> he's going to be bald, and he's barely going to re remember his own name. As his own so, great catch, Quan. Hello, <laughs> 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 Quan. <laughs> Good deal. <laughs> um, so, the third toast of the evening is to Dan and Quan and a happy, healthy, and fruitful marriage. Yay! Yay! <laughs> um, but like all Ross, Ross men, Daniel, you know, is, he does have some good qualities and what he is, is he's a world-class schloffer, like, you know, top, top, top notch. You only have to turn your back on him for a second before he's like, like that. Um, but, I mean, you can laugh about it, but that, but that kind of thing is, is actually a Ross genetic trait. It is. Um, Juan, and Juan has that in spades. Oh, yeah? Okay, well, that's good, because actually it's, it's given us an evolutionary advantage over the past year. It, it means that as flies go by, we have access to more nutrition. Um, so, so, that, so we're much stronger in the gene pool, basically. Um, Dan's also very funny. Um, I, I think Juan knows this. Um, I've heard of the unrestrained and childlike laughter that it prompts when after pulling Dan's finger. <laughs> <laughs> you mysteriously hear this farting. <laughs> um, so, so it's really good that you find that funny. Good job! Funny because he gets older and more increasingly flexible. <laughs> um, I can foresee a lot more laughs in your future together. <laughs> Dad's also very caring, and Dad talks about this uh, in, in, in the engagements. Um, I remember a time when we were little kids and we were living in Thailand, um, and a friend of Mum's had a litter of puppies. <laughs> I, I mean, the friend of Mum's didn't have the litter of dog that shit, but anyway, you know what I mean. Um, um, and Daniel chose this like little runt, this kind of cute, 